Hello everybody, and today I'll be talking about how to install Magic Lantern. So Magic Lantern can be a very very powerful tool for your Canon DSLR. It will expand the abilities of it by a lot. So installing Magic Lantern is actually very very easy. All you have to do is first of all go to the Magic Lantern website and then browse for the correct version for your DSLR model. Now the Magic Lantern version is specific for each different camera so you must find the correct version of Magic Lantern for your camera. Now there are a few cameras with the stable release of Magic Lantern whereas there are a lot more other DSLRs which have Magic Lantern still in the alpha stage which means they are basically incomplete or there are some bugs to it yet. But um, nonetheless the installation method is the same so all you have to do is download the correct zip package unzip the contents of the zip package into your SD card. Now make sure you low level format your uh, SD card prior to that. Once you've copied all the content into the root directory of your SD card, just pop the SD card into your camera, part on, go into the menu and hit firmware update. And then hit OK. Wait for it. And then you will see Magic Lantern install, blah blah blah. And then once you see all the green letters, then that means you're ready to go. Magic Lantern has been installed. All you have to do is power your camera off, restart it, power it back on, and you have Magic Lantern. Just as easy as that. It doesn't take a lot of time. Now, you have to keep in mind though that Magic Lantern does not override or replace your existing um, firmware. Magic Lantern actually runs off of the SD card. So all the files required for Magic Lantern are all in the SD card. So when you remove the SD card from your camera and you power it back on, you will realize that Magic Lantern is gone. So you can see that Magic Lantern actually runs off your SD card. It doesn't actually overwrite anything inside your camera except the boot disk flag. Now what we've done just now was we've actually enabled the boot disk flag on the camera. So what boot disk flag does is it allows your camera to boot from your SD card. Now uh, Canon DSLRs were not supposed to do that but because of what we did just now we basically hacked the firmware update and then we made uh, we changed the setting on the camera, basically the boot disk flag, to enable it to boot from the SD card. So to have Magic Lantern to work, you must put in a SD card with the Magic Lantern files in them. If you change to another SD card with no Magic Lantern files on them, again Magic Lantern will not boot, it will boot to the stock firmware. So do have you do have to keep that in mind, so if you're planning to use Magic Lantern permanently, you would want to have the Magic Lantern files in every SD card you have. So after all this, let's say you thought installing Magic Lantern Lantern was a horrible disaster. So you want to completely remove Magic Lantern. Uh, you don't just want to format the card and then remove Magic Lantern from the card. You want to disable the boot disk flag altogether from your camera. Now um, the way to do that is very simple as well. Again just power it on, go to menu, go back to firmware update, hit OK. So you're going to update your firmware again and then wait for it again. It will go through basically the same process as before. Now after all that, now make sure before you power on your camera, your mode dial is in M mode. This is very important. Make sure it is in M mode before you power on your camera. Once you get the green letters again, now you just turn your mode dial from M to AV. And then we get a message saying disable boot disk. And I wait for it. And then once you see the uh, white letters, boot disk flag is disabled, that means Magic Lantern is off your camera. Your camera will not be able to boot from SD cards anymore. Um, boot disk flag has been disabled. And now it's basically like you've never installed Magic Lantern on your DSLR before. So it's as easy as that. I hope my video has helped any of you who had doubts on installing Magic Lantern. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.